Hey, welcome everyone who's just tuning in. Wow, you guys are so fast. I'm just setting up. I'm hoping that it's working. Welcome if you just tuned in. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just setting up. We're just about to start. Hashtag too long. Here we go. The schedule, oh, it's really good, the schedule. Um, I try to stick to it as much as I can. <laughs> At least you know when I'm roughly going to be online. Frex, you're here. Welcome. So welcome to too long. We have our Arabian Nights theme tonight. I'm so excited about this. I've got so much to show you guys, like ah, millions of stuff to show you. Mm -hmm. Arabian Nights. It's a big problem for you guys though, is I love all these songs, so I'm just gonna sing all the time. <laughs> Arabian Day. Come on, Larry, it's good, eh? <laughs> That's such a big kid. Any excuse, honestly. Any fucking excuse. <laughs> it's like Arabian days. <laughs> so, tonight um, we are looking for loads of Arabian uh, themed tunes. So, um, think like Aladdin, or if you're really into that sort of stuff, you probably know more stuff than I do. Um, I was posting about it earlier, and we had loads of good stuff um, that was mentioned. So, you guys are in charge of the music, remember? So, that means, um, in fact, I should pull out the wee thing. Where's my wee madoofer? Badoofer, badoofer. Where's. Ah, here we go. Right. Music is down to you guys. So, auto DJs on the stream. If you want a tune on, exclamation mark SR, then paste the YouTube link. Arabian Baby Shark, do you think there is one? <laughs> Come on, Larry, you know me, you know me. It's all about the entrance, eh? <laughs> I the message. Proper entrance, the music, the pick, and the singing. I'm good, Brex. I'm really good. I'm really excited about tonight. I have got so much to show you guys. And if you're not going to get quick, then I'm going to paste more links than you can. Let me see if I'm quicker than you guys. Ah, see? Just like that, so fast. <laughs> so come on guys, get your... Um, so what I did there, um, just in the stream tab, so it's just exclamation mark SR was all I did, and then I posted the link. It's fine if you're on Calypso. Um, I'm going to do you a whole um, Arabian night sort of walk through tonight on Tulan. Um, I've got a list of stuff that I want to show you. It's going to be a complete hot mess, but it's going to be phenomenal, honestly. Um, there's a couple of things else I wanted to show you, actually. Prince Ali. Welcome, everyone who's just tuned in. Wow, that got fast. <laughs> Still, like standing here doing nothing. This is like typical for my stream. Like you like stand there for like three and a half minutes doing jack shit. <laughs> it, it takes me a wee minute to, to stop dancing and stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing, you know how like the, the Arabian, uh, like the sort of, is it belly dancing? Is that what we call it? With the, you know, when, when you put your hands out to the side and you do the kind of the wavy arms with the wee belly dance thing. I've been having so much fun getting up for this stream, honestly. Uh, amazing. This is hilarious. Right, so, welcome to Planet Tulan. We're here on Tulan. Let me show you Tulan. If there's anyone here who's not from Entropia, please do shout out and just say hey and I can uh, help you through anything that you don't understand. <laughs> so this is Tulan. 
Tulan, um, Tulan is not massive, which is quite cool. There's not a huge amount of TPs into it, so it's one of those places that if you want a kind of day trip or you want to go and have a bit of fun, then Tulan is the place to come and see. There is about three and a half billion missions, pretty much. <laughs> And do some missions and get some stuff and have a bit of fun and do some exploration and just have an adventure then you have to come to planet Tulan. So I'm going to show you guys some of the really fun stuff to do here and um, the one thing that I love about this planet which is pretty much a giveaway is it's, it's completely themed so everything that they do here is um, Arabic lore themed and um, the really cool thing is it's made by um, Bel Beladcor, Beladcor, Beladcor. Let me just check I said that right before I get in trouble. Um, Beladcom, not Beladcore. Beladcom. <laughs> so Beladcom um, is a gaming company based in Jordan. So um, they, their claim to fame is that they are the first ever um, Iranian um, MMO game, which I think is really cool. And all of us in Tropian should give them a wee bit of support, I think. And Jordanians are lovely, lovely people. I've been to Jordan before. Um, I went to Jordan about five years ago. Um, I went to Petra. I've got a big old Petra story. Like a belly cough. <laughs> Belda cough. <laughs> Belad... No. Belad... Yeah, Belad cough. Belad cough. <laughs> <laughs> this is owned by Beladcom, um, who are Jordanian, so they're um, a Jordanian gaming company. I'm just trying to give you a background here, like, oh, I'm not being paid for these streams, by the way. Before this sounds like far too much like um, a sponsor stream, this is not a sponsor stream. This is just me trying to show you guys the stuff in Entropia that maybe not everybody knows and maybe it's a cool thing to, to get to know. And so this is Toulon. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk to you about is Nabokor. So let me show you what the Nabokors are. <laughs> oh my god, what's this tune? I'm going to throw my Nabokor over to show it to you. Oh my god, you've got an army baby shark! <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh my god. Hey Pen, hey Bam Bam. Oh Jesus, I'm going to fall off my chair. Honestly? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't regain composure. You have an Arabic baby shark. We have to learn it. Like we have to learn it. From now on, we must learn Arabic baby shark. <laughs> Welcome everyone who's just tuned in. And um, so one of the big things with my stream is we always have baby shark. And um, if baby shark's not played in my stream, I get really sad. Like last night, baby shark was not played, and I felt like the stream just wasn't the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's quicker. I like this. I like this. I like this. Oh, and I have some Arabic that I'm, I'm having to practice on you guys. Um, let me see. Bum, bum, bum. I like this. Najuran. I guess we can do it in any language. Eh? <laughs> Okay, so I'm supposed to be saying, but right, you have to help me out. I'm supposed to be saying Mahaban, Marhaban, when you come in, and Salam Alakum. <laughs> so bad at this, same. Eh? And Kefa Haluka. <laughs> I've actually been practicing my Arabic tonight to, to go, do a good job for you guys. Anyway, right, we have to be doing stuff. <laughs> oh, Larry, Larry's got the lyrics nailed. Right, anyway, um, I wanted to show you um, how we how we do Nabokor. So um, you come to Tulan quite clearly. Let me show you this, how this works. So space. Calypso is over here and you're going to be coming over to um, Tulan. Tulan is over there and um, where we are just now. So I don't recommend doing this flight um, by quad because there's quite clearly a couple of PVP barriers that you have to go through. So um, if you're going to do this, I suggest getting a warp ship and it's going to take you over to Tulan. This is Tulan over here and this is Tulan Space Station. And um, you just fly towards the planet and you'll get down. Once you're on Tulan, the first place that I would recommend that you come to is Nahara City. So this is your Tulan map. Like I said before, it's not massive. It's quite easy to, to work out. And you're going to come up here to the Nahara City. So um, the Nahara City TP is going to take you straight to up there. 
So this part up here, this is your teleporter. So just run straight down from the teleporter and you're going to come over here and you're going to speak to your um, Navacore agent, which is this guy here. So we say, hi, Navacore agent. Okay, so I've already done the first mission, um, so I can't really show you what that looks like, but I'm going to show you the second one, but I'm going to tell you what the first mission is, right? So you're going to interact with this guy. Um, what he's going to tell you is he is going to say, hold on, I read it to you. I did have it up somewhere. Where did I put it? I put it somewhere. <laughs> uh, too long. Nawa core. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to ask you for a thousand sweat plus, oh, so I've got it here, I've got it here. I want to tell you the exact numbers, right? So the Naval core is the wee thing that I've got here, this thing here. Um, so the mission before is to get your first Naval core. Your first Naval core, um, there is a requirement for it. So apparently the Naval core is a small device implanted under the skin of your hand and it's powered by Nawa energy. If you guys are into lore and stuff like that, just so you know that Nawa is um, Tulan's life energy and it's the fuel for the mystical source. So Nawa is kind of everything that um, fuels the magic on Tulan, okay? So this is the Nawa core and they want you to essentially implant the Nawa core into your hand. Um, so your first Nawa core you'll get is the Nawa core mark one. And you can all get it really, really simply. Um, so. I love this song. So for the Navacore, um, there's two ways to get it. So your very first Navacore, you can either buy it and it's going to cost you 10,000 vibrant sweat. So like what, 20 ped or so. Um, or you're going to have to hunt 100 tab tabs. Tab tabs are like level 0 to 3, I believe. So your first Navacore implant is a super easy thing to get. Anyone who's coming to Tulan, I highly recommend you get yourself your first Navacore implant. They can then be upgraded, right? So um, I essentially want to upgrade my Mark 1 to a Mark 2, and to do that, I'm going to have to be um, providing this guy with all these parts, which is why he's shown me a different mission than um, what you would see if you'd first arrived. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> Bellad Cone. Hold on, I scroll back and catch the chat. Maybe shut oh, up, maybe. Long time. Love this song. Aladdin lamp, I know. So this um this thing that I'm holding here. This is a Tulanian uh, item, which are kind of super rare by now. And uh, if you ever come across one of these, absolutely buy it. Um, I got mine from Soul because I, Soul is in my sock and Soul gets completely pestered from me constantly when I want something. I, like, Soul, I need this, I need this. Um, so this is the Quandle. The Quandle is... It's a really good item. So if you ever see a Quandle, just buy it. Honestly, they're 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 phenomenal, and you'll sell it for a fucking shitloads of markup. <laughs> Tony <Bonnie> stole it. <laughs> How many times you play this game? You mean in general or over the years? <laughs> I know, Larry, no, I'm so bad. Um, so Soul will be like, so quite often Soul will craft like the newest things. So he will be like the first person to discover this or that or this. And I'm like, I put an order in before Soul has even crafted it. <laughs> Soul will tell us, oh, I've got a blueprint for this thing. And I'm like, yeah, huh, I'll have that. <laughs> it's like, he crafts it and I buy it. <laughs> Straight off the back, poor Soul. It's a pain in the ass to be working with me. Two months and a newbie. Oh, so welcome guys to my restream. Right, so this is Tulan. We learned about that already. We, I'm not going to go over everything like a million times. Um, but you're going to be wanting to come to Nahar City. You're going to want to speak to this guy, which is your Navacore agent. Navacore is the essence of the magic on um, Tulan. And now I'm going to show you um, what this does. Like, what's the point in that? I'm going to show you. Give me like ten seconds because I have to go pee. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. We're doing this, we're doing this. <laughs> you discovered the gem of the game, so true. It comes with shoes. <laughs> the most is me. <laughs> I know, right? Um, right, okay, so let's get on with the show. So we've got, um, we're on to land, we made it here through space. We came to Nahar City, we spoke to the Nahar Court agent, we got our Mark 1, um, and now we want to upgrade the Mark 1 to a Mark 2, right? Because why not? This is like, this is what you have to do. I really hope you guys are not posting like bad tunes. Um, obviously, I don't understand what's getting said by these um, songs. <laughs> Which is quite clear because I'm from Scotland um, and I'm running a whole uh, Arabian themed night and honestly I don't know if I can clue but we're just winging it, absolutely fucking winging it right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that um, the Jordanian developers of this particular part of the game are sitting with their hands in their head like oh, honestly god did we have to let Bonnie do it? Like, could, we not, could we not let someone a bit more demure or a bit more sophisticated do this Anyway, right, let me show you where we're going. <laughs> uh, got some notes somewhere. Oh my god, so many notes, so many notes. That's too many notes. And uh, see you off, right. The first thing that I want to point out is that this tune is actually doing my head in, Larry. Sorry, I'm going to have to. <laughs> I'm sorry, Larry, but honestly, like, ah, uh, no, no. Right, we're skipping on to Bellish tune. And so guys, remember that the music is all down to you. It's not down to me. So if you want something played on the stream, you just do exclamation mark SR and then paste the YouTube link. I, I'm going to say, Lani, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> that was that was a, a fabulous effort involved there. <laughs> right, so let me show you where we're going to. Um, there's not 100 pets like bricks. I just said there was pets. Peds. It's always peds. There's peds everywhere. I've got so much peds I have to give to other people. This is due to Bam Bam. This is due to Larry. This is due from me to other people. <laughs> hey, Epic Dose, how you doing? <laughs> I have to try and split the peds all the time so I know like who I owe money to. Like my, my whole stream pretty much consists of me owing money to other people. Anyway, right, back on track, guys, back on track. Um, so we spoke to this guy, we got our stuff, I'm not going to repeat it again. So now we have to just go and do it, right? Let me show you. <laughs> Silly. Amazing. Oh, I have another core mark one to show you. Oh, we did that already, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's bigger than that. I thought it was that size of jump. Let me show you. So that was a TP2 jump that you saw just there. Let me show you a TP6. Um, where's my TP6? TP6 is like the most overly, uh, what's the word? It's like the most overcompensation that you would ever need in game. So the TP6 is going to um, teleport you 9.9 kilometers. And so this is to Lan, and you saw the TP2 couldn't get me there, right? Let me show you what the TP6 does. It's fucking hilarious. I know, eh, Glenn Fittich? Hey, Glenn Fittich, welcome! <laughs> let me show you, it's fucking crazy. So this is the TP6, it, it literally means the whole map, and let me show you how far outside the map I can go. <laughs> Like all the way outside. <laughs> so this is this is um complete overkill in Tropia style. What the fuck is that chip? I know Larry, right? <laughs> this is this is my life. <laughs> um okay, so let's do it. We want to go here, come on. Let me show you the chip, let me show you her information. Um you guys know what I'm talking about. So she's translocator level 15, she's 9.9 .9 kilometers and she costs roughly two ped per jump. I know. It's just super helpful if you're really lazy like me. Otherwise, it's a horrible idea. You should never do that. It's a really bad idea. Why would you do that? <laughs> 
Now for me, it's kind of like if I'm streaming, I want to get you guys straight to the place that I want to go to. There's no pissing about, there's no me pressing T, waiting for 60 seconds to get to the, the nearest revive, then to the teleport, and then go to the teleport, you know, it's pissing about. We just get straight where we need to be, right? Nobody's got time for that. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's waiting for me. Slay, Slay's here. So this is the entrance to the Naval Core. How um, subtle is this? Like it's really, like you would never know it was here. So it's a bit different from like and when we were doing Arcadia and we did the Arcadia instances, they had like this big um, fanfare of an entrance. We're on Tulan, so Tulan is a wee bit more subtle with a lot of stuff. You have to, you have to play the cards right when it comes to Tulan. <laughs> so this is where we're going into. And this is where I'm going to show you the Nava Core stuff. Sing it to you guys. Let's do it. Hey, welcome. Oh, in fact, I have to say it properly. Um, Marhaban. Um, salam alaikum. <laughs> Is that right? Marhaban, salam alaikum. Um, Kefa haluka. That's um, hi, peace be with you. How are you? <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Thanks <laughs> so much ever into these things. <laughs> hey, LB, you're here. And Ran Rare. Ran Rare, you're here. Oh my goodness. Oh, so good to see you guys. Right, so um, welcome to the See You Hof. I don't know if that's exactly how we say it, so I'm going to hover over one to show you. Do you see that? So, um, See You Hof, right? To me, I think that the um, Belladcom had a bit of a laugh with this and they wanted to make the name See You Hof. Is there any other way to say it, do you think? I've heard some people say Kuhof or CH. Whatever. I think it's see you off. <laughs> so I think I think there's a wee secret message there going on. So these are essentially instances. Hey, player versus world. So we have um, all the different see you offs here. So I'm going to show you really fast because I'm only going to run one. So this is the beginner one, the kind of newbie one. Um, off one, off two, off three, four and hof five. You have some um, traders down here, so you have, if you were on Tulan before and you would maybe have some of the old keys, you're gonna have to change your keys and you can change your keys with these guys. You can also use keys for team stuff or for um, solo stuff. So team or solo. Um, they have both the, the entrances there for these things. <laughs> I'm glad you like my wee, my wee outfit. Like honestly, it's the it's the most fun that I, when when we ever think to do something in stream, it's like oh we could do like Tulan. And it's like oh I could do, like totally dress up as <laughs> some sort of Arabian theme. So um yeah, so much fun for me. I'm, I'm such a big child. Like I'm, I'm shall we stream this? I get to dress up. Yes, I get to dress up. Yes. <laughs> Every stream that I'm doing from now on in, I'm like, so what do I get to dress up as? <laughs> oh, 40 people write hi. Well, you should, everyone should write hi. If you, honestly, um, the stats matter a lot to, to um, the stream. So the more you guys interact with me, the more you just say hi or follow or subscribe or just be in here. The whole shebang makes my Twitch thingamabob. Like a, I can't explain it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, um, how do we say this? Mihals. Mihals. Oh, Mihals, that's a cute name. Rodok, you're here. Oh, and thank you. Thank you for the follow. Who was this? Max Gamer, thank you for the follow. Actually, kind. <laughs> no boobies, I know, right? <laughs> so, um, Viewbot. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. TC Hap or T Chap. Oh man. I pronounce everything wrong. Um, so yeah, there was a big massive thing kicked off on Facebook a few days ago. Um, because apparently when I post my my wee stream pictures or so like this, apparently I show too much boobs. And they kicked off on Facebook about the fact that I show too much boobs. <laughs> Like, honestly, and the funniest part for me was the amount of girls who replied on the picture and said, honestly, too much boobs, like we love boobs. <laughs> boobs <are funny. laughs> it's usually, I, and the stuff I post, it's just like normal clothes, normal dresses. But I thought tonight we're on to land, I can like not post boobs. <laughs> boobs are life, right? Like that is, it was just... It was the funniest thing because um, I got a PM on Discord and I was kind of going to bed and I got so many PMs on Discord and like, Bonnie, they're talking about you on Facebook. And I was like, okay, and I clicked on it and this guy was like irate about the fact that somebody was posting a picture where a, a, a female dare to post a picture where some slight décolletage was on display. And everyone else was like, honestly? <laughs> anyway, we're in Tulan, so I thought tonight this is an... Arabic theme so I could be more uh, demure. So anyway, back to the point. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> yeah, Leon, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Oh, thank you, Bricks. <laughs> so sweet, so sweet. Um, so guys, you are in charge of music. I'm pretty sure Larry put this on. Um, yeah, Larry put the covers on. <laughs> And this is just making me feel better because if we don't have baby shark, if we don't have gummy bear, and if we don't have what does the fox say, then it doesn't feel right for my streams anymore. <laughs> and so if you want a tune, guys, honestly, you play it. Exclamation mark SR, then paste the YouTube link. It could be whatever you like, but I would really like if anyone could have some sort of Arabian styled stuff tonight, whether it's something from Aladdin or some proper Arabian tunes, then bring it. Bring it. <laughs> you got used to them. <laughs> Playing the footage, that's so funny. You, you're just, you know, when you come to Bonnie Stream, you're gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get gummy bear, and you're gonna get. Um, right, anyway, I've got stuff to show you. So, let me show you um, what the problem is that I have. Um, I'm gonna show you storage, and then we're gonna do some work. Bloody hell, it's work for a change. These all right. Oh, this is um, Tulanian armor. Let me show you that. It's quite cool. Stats are a bit rubbish, but it looks cool. Um, but what I'm going to show you is um, these things, right? So I showed you earlier on my Nawa core. My Nawa core lives underneath the skin on my hand. It was inserted into me against my will. It's very pretty. And for me to upgrade my Nawa core Mark One to Nawa core Mark Two, I'm going to have to find all the Mark Two parts. So far, I have B, A, C, and E. So I need. That's not confusing at all whatsoever. <laughs> let's, let's put them back in order. <laughs> A, <laughs> B. I'm sorry, I made this harder for myself. A, B, C, E. So I need D. So essentially, I need um, the thing from the fourth instance. So I'm going to have to run the fourth instance and hope that I can loop the part D. So these guys are fucking scary. Um, so this is the beginner one, we can't do that. This is Seahoff 1, that's A. Seahoff 2 is B. Seahoff 3 is C. <laughs> there's, like, there's so much thought going on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Seahoff <laughs> 4 is D. And here is E. So I have E, so this is the one that I have to do, right? <laughs> much that was much harder than it should have been can can we please um confirm that this was a thing that i should have done <laughs> it's leon oh my god leon honestly <laughs> that was definitely not how i set this stream up that was not how i set the stream <laughs> needs the d oh my god <laughs> you guys are crazy <laughs> okay are we ready God, no one needs some armor, we're not ready. As this is Slee, and um, Slee is my lovely teammate. Uh, my team are like my uh, 
backup crew. They're just, um, they don't say much, you don't hear much from them, but they're always there and they're always uh, supporting my ass. <laughs> they're lovely. Honestly, couldn't do that without them. And that's one of the really important things for me in Entropia is it's the social side of stuff. Like, there's no point playing in, if, if Entropia was like a, a non um, multiplayer game, it just wouldn't be fun. The fun part is that there's so many people that you like to be with. You saw the cat running around earlier. <laughs> oh, pride gift. I like this. Right. So welcome to a CU Hof. This is CU Hof 4. I'm pretty sure that's how we say it. If it's not how we say it, this is... So can I just point something out really quickly? Up here, you see this? These are our shadows. This is something that is quite unique to Toulon. Watch these. It's kind of creepy and kind of fun at the same time. So come on, let's do this. This is very much like um, Indiana Jones, kind of Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple. Watch this. Yes! <laughs> Let's do it. So um, we've got some Seahawk Frillers. Let's flatten these guys. That's a nice tune. I've got no idea what it is, but that sounds like a nice tune. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing, but that sounds like a nice tune. <laughs> oh my goodness, I see what they've covered. I like this. Here we go. Tin Chinese. <laughs> yes. Welcome, guys. If you've just tuned in, welcome to my wee stream. So I'm going to give away PEDS pretty soon and um, what do you guys think? I was thinking about either doing a quiz or doing like a vote on the best Arabic um, quote or something like that. We have to think of like an Arabic, um, an, Arabic thing, an Arabic thing to say. Yeah. What is the tune? Does anyone know what the actual tune is? Hey Wickers, welcome. Ay, 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 dun, 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 ay, ay, ay. What is it from? Man, it's going to annoy the hell out of me. This! Ah! So welcome to Toulon and welcome to the CU Hof. Pretty sure that um, Billard Com on Jordan are um, wanting to see us Hof right now. Come on guys, where's the devs? Where's the devs at? The <laughs> Kate, okay, you're here, welcome. Um, so exclamation mark SR, then paste the link and then you can get your tunes on. So can I just show you guys something really quickly and this is only because I'm such a geek. Look at this. Look at the detail they've put in to all of this. It's not just like, anyway, it's not just crap. So <laughs> we unlock the door and we get all uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brix. That's really kind. El Tone, lol. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Entropia. If there's anyone here who's never been in Entropia before, please don't be afraid to say. There's a lot of really ubers in the chat who know much more than I do. You guys are in charge of my tunes, which is a good thing because otherwise you have to listen to the crap that I put on. Exclamation mark SR paste the YouTube link. <laughs> Me neither, Larry. Me neither. What are we listening to? Oh my god. Who put this on? Larry! <laughs> <God. laughs> oh 
honestly. Every time that I think to myself, who the fuck put this on? I, I just shouldn't answer. I should just be like, Larry, did you put this on? <laughs> hey, welcome to my wee stream, everyone who's tuning in. Thank you for being here. Please remember to give me a wee follow. If you can, that will mean so much to me. Um, if you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime and you've maybe not used your um, subscription allowance for this month, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can subscribe to a streamer just for the month and then you can change it again next month. But it makes a huge difference to us wee streamers who are trying our wee hearts out. <laughs> or maybe you're just flush and you can afford the fiver <laughs> to give us a subscription. But no, it does mean a lot. I try to put... I try to put a lot into the streams that I do. Obviously, I'm an Entropia streamer, so um, I stream as much different stuff in Entropia as possible, but I try my wee heart out to um, to go along with it. So we did Lazadol, and I was a mermaid. Um, we did Dragons, and I was Daenerys. And now we're on um, Tulan, which is an Arabic-themed country. So I did you a whole um, Arabic princess sort of look going on. Hey guys, welcome, welcome to my stream. Oh, and that reminds me, if there's anything that you would specifically like for me to do, then do tell me because I'm totally open to any ideas or suggestions that you may have. So tonight, if you guys can paste any sort of um, Arabic themed tunes, then go for it. Or if anyone has questions about Tulan or the CU Hops or the Nava Core, just ask. Oh, now we've got a serious song on. Who's this? Oh, it's the end of this Larry song. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> so we're going to Rodok, and Rodok has the Lumineers. I love the Lumineers. Okay, so I'm wearing um, Lich, and I'm going to tell you why. Because it's important, important technical, statistical analysis of what the fuck's going on right here right now. Um, so these guys, um, most of these mobs do a hell of a lot of cold and a hell of a lot of impact. So the cold protection that I have on just now is coming from my AP36 colds down here. So they're given 36 cold protection and, and these guys do impact as well. So we have the cold and the impact um, both from the armour and from the, the plates. <laughs> That is pretty much from the Doohall, though. So the Doohall are the ones that do the cold and the impact. These wee guys, they're not so bad. Um, so we're just, we have to flatten these guys because at the end of this instance, we'll be looking for um, the thing that's going to upgrade my Navicore Mark 1 to the Navicore Mark 2, which is what we're working on. <laughs> Leon! Something, every once in a while, every once in a while, I have like some technical capability. <laughs> Where do you find info about Tulan Wikisweet? Really good question. Um, so the Tulan forum itself is quite good. Um, and the Tulan, so let me show you this. Let me show you the info that I'm getting right now. Don't mind me until I post you a link. Oh, thank you, Brix. That's very kind. So um, Tulan has their forum and they have a, a website as well. If you've never been to Tulan before, you should come check it out. It's one of those places that it's not going to take you like a whole bunch of years to get through it. Um, you can pretty much do a lot of this stuff quite fast and get a really good feel for the planet. And It's one of those planets where there's no major pressure on anything. It's just you're there to have a good time, which is the reason you should all be here, right? <laughs> You want to be a leading fan, you must sub. Yeah, it's true. You have to beat Larry. Larry has um, gifted 12 subs and it's, it's a big deal to try and beat Larry. <laughs> yes, Wicked Sweet. 
there's a lot of noob stuff here so if you're seeing what we we're doing just now so this is essentially a, a CEO of four but in this CEO of four we're having level eight mobbies so there's a beginner CEO of, there's CEO of one, there's CEO of two, there's CEO of three and this is CEO of four so you can imagine just how noob the rest of the stuff is I don't think I can look these tell them there's no look. Um, so yeah, a lot of the stuff on Tulan is is kind of simple. There's some big stuff there as well. So I'm going to show you some big stuff later, but I wanted to really run through um, Navalcore with you first of all. So essentially, Navalcore is new to Tulan. Navalcore was released in December. So just before Christmas, the whole Navalcore see you off stuff took place. Um, and they introduced this wee handheld, or sorry, hand implanted thing. So this stuff is all kind of new and this is why I wanted to show it to you. I've ran it once before but maybe not in as much detail so I wanted to show you a wee bit more. So here we go, we got the whole Indiana Jones thing over here. Click this, open that. Oh I love this, I love this. <laughs> I'm so excited by the basic stuff. <laughs> so um, again these mobbies are still all babies. But no, Tulan is a, is a planet for anyone. I'm going to show you some bigger mobs later. We're going to do some Yesh and stuff like that. Oh, hey, Feral. Any weapons? Ooh. Probably have some chips somewhere. <laughs> you stopped playing before Tulan was released. Yeah. Tulan is one of these kind of great unexplored planets. I think because Tulan are not so, um, what's the word? They're not so in your face with their advertising and stuff like that. But the Bella, Bella Com guys who run it, they really put a lot of effort into the lore and into the, the, the missions that they're bringing out and stuff like that. So if you haven't been here before, then it's something you should check out. Absolutely. He's got a big pink bum in my face. <laughs> right, what's the tune that's up next? Who's put something on? Looks like we're going with... Karomi. Cool. So last night, um, hardly anyone was putting stuff on the DJ. And so I was telling Larry earlier, I was like, honestly, like the vast majority of tunes were my tunes and even I was getting pissed by my own tunes. It's, it means so much more to me when I hear the songs that you guys want to play. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just me. This sounds very Arabic. I like this. I like this. We're on to something, guys. We're on to something. Oh, nice one, Brick Scrap. So I'm going to show you, so right after this stream, I'm going to show you one of the really exciting missions on, uh, on Tulan, or right after this stream, right after this instance, I'm going to show you guys. So this is the CEO Hof. The reason that they were doing the CEO Hof is we want to upgrade our Navacor. You guys have got this, right? You all have it. So we do CEO Hof to upgrade Navacor. <laughs> I'm going to like drill it into you. Drill it in. <laughs> Nice one, Wickes. I don't want anyone to say that they have no idea what Naval Core or Seahof is from now on in. <laughs> Remember guys, you are in charge of my tunes. The wee blue note just above my compass. Oh, DJ is on the stream. You want a tune, you type exclamation XR and then paste the YouTube link. <laughs> It's not complicated, Larry. <laughs> it's really, it's really simple. It's really simple. <laughs> Go to Nahar City. Speak to the CEO Hof agent. <laughs> get your Navacore Mark One. Run your CEO Hofs. Get your Navacore Mark Two. Honest to God. <laughs> I don't make me laugh. Oh, my cheeks are already bright red. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Really... <laughs> 
I try to do like I try to do tutorials and walkthroughs, and I'm like honestly, it's not that fucking hard. <laughs> mm. Amazing. <laughs> this is an amazing tune. Who put this on? This is Doug Caroma's one. I love this. I should do like a. I think we should do a 20 ped prize. What do you think, guys? 20 ped prize for the best Arabian themed tune. You guys have to decide which one you think is best. What do you think? They'll send it to me. Now a core. <laughs> okay, after the fastest pee in the universe, I'll be right back. Wow, these tunes are absolutely bumping tonight. I love this. You must help me with transport. <laughs> it must be on stream. Well, that's a, a nice plug for me. So, and um, we are Titans of Space. That's um, Slay, he's Cat Titans of Space, and this is me, and Bonnie, Colonel Titans of Space. Um, and we fly every planet, every night, for 10 pets with a mothership. So, if you want to join us, um, you can click on some of the links below my stream. There's. Um, my Discord, there's my Facebook, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that and you can certainly click on them if you want to hook up with me on those. Um, I'm a happy chatty person. <laughs> so look at the shadows, this is amazing, right? So this is, I know it sounds silly, but over here you see Slay shadow, you see my shadow, you don't get this so much on other planets. So watch the shadows, the mobs have shadows, we have shadows. I know that sounds silly, like it sounds like a really mundane thing to be noticing, but We've put a lot of effort into that. I really like that part of this this game. Don't mind me. Don't mind me being all obsessed by obsessed by the wee beautiful parts of the game. <laughs> you send me an S in this. I hope not. <laughs> right, okay. This tune gets a wee bit towards the end. But nice, I like it. So what do you have here? The Unicate has Hadisi Dumb Tick Tick from Turkey. All right, let's go with this. <laughs> oh, I love the tunes tonight. Oh, this is so fun because it's so much different stuff from what we usually play. Nice work, guys. You guys are fab, honestly. I like this. This is nice because it's in English too. should be pretty obvious where I am just now. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> oh God. So what have you guys been up to this weekend? Is anyone been doing anything fun apart from losing your ass on Sand King? Larry? Hi. What happened on the Sand King? Eating beans, oh my god, was it so bad? Really? He can be such a... In fact, I'm not going to say the word. Um, so the C word in Scottish is not such a bad word. Like the, the C-U-N-T word in Scottish, we can say, ah, oh, that person can be such a... Uh. But I realise in American and stuff, it's a really bad word.
Oh yeah, Leon, I was wondering about that. So, um, essentially Mindark launched a crafting event. Um, I read into it. So they were they were placing um, buyout orders for stuff that you have to craft. And they had a certain markup on it and they wanted to collect a certain amount of these things. So how did you find it? Um, I heard some people say that it made no sense because it just meant that the people with the most pets could capitalise on it, or you tell me. You obviously craft more than I do, Leon. I thought it was really interesting, but I could see how the bigger the ped card was, then the more they would gain from it. Okay, sounds. And hey, if you just tuned in, welcome to my stream. So we're here in Tulan. We're in a Seahof. The reason we're in a Seahof is I'm looking for a part um, to complete my Nawakor Mark II. Miners. Hey, J7. <laughs> welcome. Yeah, that's true, Larry. At least they tried. <laughs> The Larry, we have such a defeatist attitude. We're like, oh, mind dark. At least he tried. <laughs> Shouldn't be like this. Not like this. <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I laugh so much. There we go. Right. So, <laughs> this is where we big have the whole. Uh, door opening thing, it's so cute. Ma, ma, ma. See you off masters. So they do have some really cool graphics down here in the Sea Hoffs. And Tulan in general is a really well made planet when you look at the amount of effort they've put into stuff. And their missions, they're really kind of accessible for everyone. There's not like a whole bunch of shit where you have to do like six years worth of crafting to get into it. Um, anybody could really come here and just have a blast. So if you've not been here before, come go to Nahar City, grab your Sea Hoff stuff and try out the Navacore. What will happen if I sell some item auction on Calypso when I'll be on too long? Question Wicked Sweet. You'll get the money, don't don't panic, don't panic. Oh heck. Check that out, Lauren. Yeah, I saw that, Leon. <laughs> yeah, me too, Larry. I'm good with this. Good with this analogy. <laughs> we can go with that, right? We can, we can roll with that. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Promises. That's it. Oh, crap, does. Do I like hard style? Depends what hairstyle we're talking about, guys. We are we still talking about music? I said to get our son away, but yeah. <coughs> we're on to land. We have to be. We have to be nice on to land. Oh, this tune sounds good. Who put this on? Daisona, the mummy soundtrack. I love this. Oh, nice work, Daisona. Amazing, amazing. So we're here on Tulan and running you through the Nawakor See You Hoff stuff. Um, and I've been asking for any kind of Arabian nights or Arabic themed music. The more different stuff that we can get posted, the better. And this is amazing. This is the mummy theme tune. Oh, fucking brilliant. So can you see on the wall here and the shadows that I was talking about? Here, look. Every single mob that you see over there has a shadow placed over here. 
And it's really simple stuff like that that kind of brings Tulan to life. And that's kind of how Tulan runs their magic, if that makes sense. That's a good point, Leon. It's a very, very healthy event. Very, very healthy. Very healthy. <laughs> Cracker, that's a question from a Dutch guy, I believe. I'm, I'm going to not go too far into the whole hard style conversation. It'll never end well for me. Like, there's, there's no way that the hard style conversation can get better for me <laughs> from this point <laughs> on. Mm. Oh, bye, Brex. Thank you for being here. <laughs> when I were talking, proper tunes on going. Mm -hmm. Just don't post too much Aladdin stuff because there's a really bad chance that I might sing. This is terrible. Don't leave, Rex, don't leave. So we have to unlock the door again. This is all Indiana Jones. Uh, was it Raiders of the Lost? Was it, oh, you have, to you have to fix what I'm saying. Raiders of the Lost Ark or Raiders of the Lost Temple? I think I'm getting two things mixed up. Oh, good tune for this, ready, ready? Raiders of the Lost Temple, right? Here we go. <laughs> So welcome to LAN! Welcome to Nawakor. These are the CU <coughs> CU Hof instances. Temple of Doom. Ah, oh, Dysona. Dysona knows, Dysona knows. So um, I visited Jordan um, probably about five years or so ago and I went to see the um, Petra temples. So Petra is the, the thing from Indiana Jones that's kind of carved into the cliffs, essentially. Um, I went to Jordan just about before the whole um, Arab Rising thing started. And I'll be honest with you, Jordan was one of the, the most beautiful countries that I've ever been in. And um, the nicest people that I've ever met. So, um, Beladcom, Beladcom are the owners of Tulan, that's where we are just now. And they are the first ever... Um, Arabic lore themed MMO in the world. Um, so I think we should give a, a, a big big up to the, the Jordanian team who are running this planet on Tulan. Um, and the fact that <sighs> I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, I kind of went to Israel, I went to Egypt, I went to Jordan. Now here we have, here's the boss. Um, and Jordan was by far the, the nicest people. They were lovely. They couldn't have done anything more for you. They were just such nice people. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> they were phenomenal. But I've got a big old Jordanian story, but I probably shouldn't tell it on this stream. Lost Ark was at Petra. Okay, so this is the last room that we're about to enter. This is the kind of golden door. The golden door is going to take us in um, to to the, my teammates like open the fucking door Bonnie it's going to take us to where the loot lives so now we go see the loot essentially what we're looking for it is that part how cool is this room it's amazing eh? so let's open the loot see what happens da 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 now a core party yes we got it yes so 121 pets on that one that's all I needed to oh my god <laughs> so excited Ah, uh, this one. What do we get on this one? Yes! <gasps> Sabaka, 20 oh, grams. My God. The loot's phenomenal. 126 paid on this box. Ready for the next one? Ready for the next one? Ready for the next one? I'm so ready. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 90 paid. I got the D. I got the D. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that was all the boxes before I, I leave without opening them all. <laughs> 
Let me along. Already opened. I get too excited to try and open. Right, so let's go out. <laughs> Thank you. And um, so we opened the three of three boxes. So now we get to upgrade the Nava Core. It's the most exciting part. And um, so I have to say thank you to Slay. Slay is um, one of our titans, our titans of space. Slay helped me all the way through this. Slay is amazing. And Uber at the same time. <laughs> so let's go upgrade our Nava Core. Slay is a beast. You're right. Most of the titans of space are, oh, they're just all you were in awesome and and they back me up so much <laughs> if you notice in most of my streams i have one of the titans of space guys or maybe more hanging about <laughs> your local friendly uber <laughs> it's so true it's so true mm -hmm. <laughs> at least i don't deny it at least i don't pretend that i'm that uber all by myself i'm, I'm just uh, just have some good mates <laughs> Right, oh, so let me. Oh, I love this tune. This tune's really nice. Wow, Dysona. Ancient Egyptian music. This is very Ramses to fantasy music. I like this. That's really cool. Thank you for posting it. So, we have all the parts that we need. Right. And this is obviously the first time that I've done this because I don't have it yet. So, you guys are as new to this as I am. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm pretty sure something good should happen, but it might all go to shit. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to find out. Me and you together, we're going to find out, right? Right, so we're back here at Navajar City. I'm going to take off my armour because it's too. I feel all like, claustrophobic and stuff. Ah, I just want to breathe, for God's sake. Let me breathe. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. My shins. Um, what am I going to wear? Can't decide. Can't decide. Can you join Toss Bricks? Not really. Um, you have to talk to GBK. It's not really. I love this shoot. <laughs> I can't change the subject where I have to explain why. <laughs> right, okay, come on, guys. Let's go and see what happens. <laughs> so, you have managed to find the hidden city, even with the protection of the chief guards. You have a good head on your shoulders, newcomer, and a good sword in hand, no doubt. Although I'll wager that Hakeem's ramblings and secret helped you out. Mm -hmm. That was enough of that. Apparently I'm stuck though. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Let's see if I can TP it. <laughs> More clothes on the avatar. Mm -hmm. This is my. This is just what I carry. So um, I carry a certain amount of clothes and then I've got stored a certain amount of clothes and I carry clothes for different seasons. <laughs> so right now this is what I carry because this is the stuff that I'm getting into but there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'll probably into at some other point. So let me show you some cool stuff about Nahar. Um, can I show you fast? <laughs> what the hell is this shoe? Oh, rib tracker. No, this is like aqua. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Arabic metal. I put this on Larry. Oh my god. It's literally head and hands. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> okay. 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 I said Arabic. <sighs> Fuck. I see Jibke. Jibke chats. Does speak every once in a while. Fuck, how do I get out of here? I keep walking into random walls. Tell me where. It said Arabic. It did! It did. Good night, Brex.
Right, so let me show you the CEO Hoff Towers. That's not what these are called. <laughs> I'm just going to make that up. <laughs> no, this, so we're in Nahar City. Um, and in Nahar City, they have essentially a set of towers that are probably uh, Nahar Towers. They're going to be um, apartments, I would guess, and shops and stuff like that. So, And these things look really cool. And let me show you the rest of it, though, not just the random bits of it. And then we're going to go and see if we can upgrade our Nawa core. Ah, oh, cheese and whiskey, man. I'm so jealous. <laughs> the great JVK has spoken. I know, right? Um, so, so look over here, right? So the directory is in the floor, is clearly ground. So one, two, three, four, five is our apartments, and six and seven is our shops, and eight is the roof. So let's go straight up to six. Tell you six. All right. So this is um, essentially what's going to become, at some point, the shopping area on Tulan. These things are all kind of owned right now by the, the Tulan manager, so they're not owned by any players specifically. And the interesting thing about this is you leave this level at ground level on the other side. So the bottom side where we were earlier was where the apartments start and the top side where we are just now like is where the ground starts on the other side. I made that much more complicated than it actually is, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so here, so we're back outside in Nawahar City. This is what we were just in. Well, no, that wasn't what you were in, that's me. These, this is the apartment that you were just in. And on the upside, it's high on, oh, I give up, you know what I mean. <laughs> the upside is high, the downside is low. Um, this is the where the shops and the apartments are going to live. So I'm going to go and intro you here. <laughs> Welcome. So let me show you the upgrade of the Navacore. God, that was a complete hot mess. <laughs> I was trying to show you the apartment building and it just went to, went to shit. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry um, to land devs if you're watching. <laughs> mm. They're all empty. Yep, Glen Fiddich. They've not sold anything yet, um, but there could be something coming in March for um, all planets. There could be something coming in March. We had some devs on stream last night, and some devs on stream last night hinted that March, so as in one week from now, there's going to be some big um, PP updates. So um, yeah, we should look out for that. I'd imagine. So, oh my god, this tune, who put this on? Glenn, I, I appreciate the sentiment, but no. <laughs> and no for this one too. Rodok has um, promises, nice one. <laughs> no, I really, I really like the work that you put in there, Glenn Fittich. Like I, I saw the effort. Right, so let's um, I have to go to storage first of all. I have to pull my Nava cores out. So what I need is all my Nava cores from here. I'm gonna throw my Nava cores across. <laughs> Larry, it's so true. Like pick what tunes you want, but um, I'm gonna skip them anyway. <laughs> I'm terrible. You know I'm terrible. I'm really bad. <laughs> I don't. I don't like your chins. I'm gonna skip. <laughs> so my legs here. Right. So let's do this. Are you ready? I'm very excited. Let's be all professional and serious because we're on Tulan, and we're running our um, our Arabic lore themed stream tonight. We don't really have an Arabic lore themed song for this. Hold on. Can we do some more Arabic stuff? Hold on, hold on. I can do this. Wait, wait, wait. I want, I want to clip this. I want to clip it properly. Um, which tune? Which tune? Which tune? Maybe. Oops. Maybe I. Maybe I do. Maybe. Maybe I can paste the tune into my own song. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. S R. Here we go. I'll do stuff by myself. Hey, nice three. <laughs> So this is important. I'm going to clip this later. You ready, guys? Do you, uh, so, first of all, do you notice how demure I am with my, my long skirt? This is a long skirt for Bonnie. I'm trying to be very, uh, 
great, very polite with our um, our Arabic friends. Try, try my best, guys. Trying my best. <laughs> Trying my very best. Okay, Rudok. You got two minutes on your chin. This, this is good for me. Delayed two minutes on my chin. And so who's all here? A Dysona posted something as well. Oh, why was an error, Dysona? Oh, it's 10 minutes. You can't post stuff over 10 minutes. Apparently, it's not a problem. Um, you just noticed my Tulanese outfit. Oh, thank you, Night Flight. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to be um, my whole um, <coughs> Arabian Nights thing going on. And um, this is my own hair. So, obviously, uh, last night I was doing like a dragon stream. So I had the whole Khaleesi and Daenerys thing going on. So with Daenerys and Khaleesi stream that I had, the, the kind of white hair, whereas what you see right now in this picture, this is just me. There's no um, there's no fucking about with this picture. That's my hair, that's how I look. Um, I threw a wee necklace on my head. <laughs> I had some fun. But anyway, are we ready? So I've got the tune lined up and we're gonna, gonna clip this. How to upgrade your Navacore 1 into a Navacore 2. Ready? So this is the Navacore 1. So here's how we do it. So in order to upgrade, you need all these Navacore parts. So he wants this. The Navacore one, and then he wants all this stuff. So this stuff I have collected through doing instances. You don't get this stuff free. You get this stuff through running the instances. If you want to run the instances, you have to use the Navacore energy sources. These are your keys to get into the CU Hoffs. So we use the CU, the Nawa energy cores to open the CU Hoffs. The CU Hoffs may or may not give you the parts. Oh, I'm so excited. So now we have all the parts required. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're at Nahar City and we are speaking with the Nawakor agent and the Nawakor agent is allowing us to upgrade our Mark 1 to Mark 2. Ready? Here we go. I'm excited. Arabian days. <laughs> Brilliant. You guys all saw that across the universe, right? <laughs> Let me show you what that looked like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So here we have it here. Um, Elena Bonnie Knight was the first, or sorry, has found a rare item, the Nawakor Mark II. A record has been added to the Hall of Fame. Yes! <laughs> so this is what I want to show you guys tonight. Um, so that was how you can create a Nawakor Mark I into a Nawakor Mark II. Um, if you guys have any questions about what I've done for the past hour, <laughs> how this all worked, please um, send me a message, drop me a PM in game. I'm more than happy to help you guys out with this sort of stuff. This means a lot to me. It means a lot to me to show you guys um, all the fun that there is to be had in Entropia. I've had a quite a few messages recently about people saying that it's been refreshing just to see people having fun in the game again. And it means a lot to me if I can help you guys have that much fun. You saw the swirly. <laughs> I'm glad Glenn finished. <laughs> the hype is real. I know, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> right. Good question, Karoma. So let me show you what we do with that. So essentially what I did was I replaced my Nawakor. Um, so I had a Nawakor Mark 1. I no longer have a Nawakor Mark 1. I now have a Nawakor Mark 2, right? This is super cool. 
So the Navacor is a small device implanted under the skin of your hand and it's powered by Nawa energy. Nawa energy is the energy source of Tulan. Nawa energy is the magic of Tulan. So I'm going to show you what this does. Can I show you what it does? Come, we can show you what it does. Uh -huh. Welcome guys, if you've just tuned in, welcome to my wee stream. Right, so... Hey, welcome if you've just tuned in. So anyone can do this. This is the really important thing about Nawakor. Um, you guys can all do exactly what I've just done. It doesn't matter what your level is because this guy, the first thing that he wants you to do, the Navacore agent, is he wants you to hunt 100 tab tabs or give him some sweat. So this is like basic, basic stuff. After that, he wants you to run those Navacore instances. The Navacore instances are, um, they're not hard. This is Planet Tulan. This is Navacore. I hope you're enjoying my streams. So let me show you what happens now. What was the reason for us doing that? That was such a good question. Why Why would I want to have such a, a big Nala core? I tell you. I tell you. <laughs> so we go back to the Seahoff cave. And I'm going to show you what the difference is now. So, essentially, um, the Nawa core that I have implanted in my hand is the thing which is deciding which Seahoff I can do. So, the Seahoff are the instances, and if you complete all of the Seahoff instances on your Nawa core one, you may or may not get to loot all of the parts. And then, if you do, you get to upgrade to the Nawa core two. Um, so remember we were here earlier? You guys remember, right? We were here earlier and I was doing um, Navacore 1 missions, right? Now I get to do Navacore 2 missions. I'm not going to do one, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I can now enter the CU Hall 5 as a Navacore 2, whereas before that I was entering as a Navacore 1. So essentially what you're doing is you're kind of working through a bunch of missions to upgrade your um, your level, if that makes sense. So remember we said that um, the Navacores were quite easy? Uh, so we were in like the CO4 earlier on, we were in the CO4 and the mobs were pretty simple, right? But we were in Navacore 1, CO4. Now I'm Navacore 2, and if I go into 2 and CO4, then we get higher. So let me show you the let me show you the um, the instances. Let me show you these people down here. So we can pick up the dailies and stuff like this. So you can find the do hall, see you have see all five. Okay. I like them. So yes, yeah, so you can pick up a whole bunch of different missions and stuff. Um, CU Hoffs, if you want to get into a CU Hoff, you have to have your um, energy sources, which are these things. Oh my god. <laughs> this chin, this chin's phenomenal. So these are the Nawa energy cores. The Nawa energy cores are created by refining 100 vibrant sweat with one Nava shard. Nava shard is a matter that you can mine here on Tulan. Um, if you want to enter the instances, you get you have to pay the um, this thing essentially. So see you off too. Um, they will take the the Nava core out of your inventory, and that's how you get in. So we got this right. Everyone now understands everything there is to know about um, Nava core and Nava core energy sources. <laughs> you do, guys. Please tell me that you do. <laughs> I really tried so hard <laughs> to make this <is> plausible. <laughs> 
Honestly, if any of you ever come to me and be like, Bonnie, um, Tulan, Navacore, like, what the fuck is going on? I'll be like, oh, guys, honestly, I told you everything there is to know. <laughs> Could you start at the beginning again? No! Play footage, no, I can't. Oh my god. That's all you're getting. That's it. There's no more to be had. <laughs> No more to be had on the Navacore stuff. I'm going to show you more to Lan though. I love this tune. Larry and Danny Jones. Amazing. <laughs> so everyone in this stream right now should be complete um, Navacore experts. And you all saw me get my Navacore hot on my um, Navacore CU2. Nice, huh? So this um, Mark II unlocks the following daily missions. So the bigger your um, bigger your Navacore is. <laughs> so um, how, how big is your Navacore, guys? <laughs> the bigger your Navacore is, the bigger the missions get. So I can now unlock all these things. Ah, uh, thank you, J7. Thank you. What's too long? <laughs> Shoes track <on. laughs> So yeah, essentially the more you upgrade your Nawa core, the more upgrades you have on to LAN. <laughs> yes, Lai, this is exactly what I'm on about. Yet again, it doesn't stop, it doesn't stop. Right, I've got a wee list of stuff I wanted to show you. Fuck, I've only got to like the first part. <gasps> oh man, like, <laughs> I've literally done nothing tonight. I have like a list of like, Oh, 10 different things that I have to show you and we've got to like point two. Point two was um, Hoff on Navacore. <laughs> God, it's going be a long night. Um, so, can you be with me 10 seconds? I have to top up wine and stuff. Um, but welcome to my wee stream. And I've got something so exciting planned for you for the next half hour that I might fall off the chair because it's going to be a fucking hot mess. So, welcome to my stream. Remember guys, you are in charge of my tunes. And so all you have to do is type exclamation mark, es exclamation mark, exclamation mark, es oh, in fact, it's hidden under my thing. Let me fix that. Here we go. If you want a tune on the stream, you type exclamation mark, sr, then paste YouTube link. I'll be right back. Oh man, this tune, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Indiana Jones theme song, absolutely phenomenal. Right, are we ready guys? I'm ready, I've got the glass refilled. <sighs> this next part of this stream, um, so I'm gonna go like whole disclosure on you guys. This is gonna be a hot fucking mess. Um, there's no way this is gonna go down well. Um, so if you are, potentially from um, the Tulan dev team, it might be a good idea not to watch the rest of the stream because it's going to be fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it says God, welcome. <laughs> oh God, I have to get my hair out my face. I've got, um, so tonight you've probably noticed that I've got my, my own hair on. <laughs> 
So the past two nights I was running the dragon streams. I was doing my um, Daenerys, my Khaleesi cosplay and with my Daenerys and Khaleesi cosplay um, I did have some other hair ongoing. I don't have white hair. <laughs> But I spent a long time to make that hair look as good as it did. Whereas the picture you see of me tonight, the picture that you see right there, that's just me. That's my hair. That's me normal. However, my hair is right in my fucking face right now and it's a pain in the arse. So, um, that's of no importance to you guys because you don't give a shit about that. I'm going to show you the actual. <laughs> hey, Atomic Storm, welcome. Attack. <laughs> And welcome all of Atomic Storm's friends. Welcome to my wee stream. Right, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you is a mission. So we did our Naval Corps stuff. We all are now expert aficionados on everything Naval Corps, everything Sea Hoff, you guys, you're just phenomenal at this now. If anyone ever asks what is Sea Hoff, what is Naval Corps, you guys have got this. I'm sure you have. Right, the next thing that I'm gonna do is, oh, I'm scared. I've been planning to show you guys this stuff for months and it's going to be so bad that I'm not ready for the level of embarrassment that I'm about to display. <laughs> are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Okay, so we're going to be doing a certain mission. It's not the... Oh, it's not none of them. Let me show you. We can untrack this lot. I need more Arabian music, guys. Um, so the more Arabian themed music you can play tonight, the better. <coughs> We're going to be going with our colour cutting. Can I just ask how many of you guys have done this before? The colour cutting mission? We essentially we have to defuse bombs in the Nahar City. Have you guys all done this? <laughs> before you're like, yeah Bonnie we did this like fucking years ago. Like wh where were you? Where were you when we did the colour cutting? <laughs> I want everyone who's done colour cutting to raise their hand. <laughs> I'm gonna post my only link right now. You cheated and looked it up. Bet you did. Bet you did. <laughs> Da, da, da. You've been to several places on world. That's good start. Okay, let's start, shall we? Um, so we're going to be doing color cutting. Um, so we have to defuse the bombs. Oh, for God's sake! So I've just realised that the bombs are actually targeted for us when we target the mission. I had literally wrote down all of the things. <laughs> Look, uh, where did I put them? I I found all the the waypoints all by my big self. <laughs> actually already shows you oh my god I make life so much more difficult for myself if I'd have just clicked the mission then oh my god right are we ready guys are we ready guys here we go dun da da dun da da dun dun da da <laughs> welcome to Tulan and um, welcome to Nahar City we're on a mission whereby the city is about to be blown up. And the only way that it's going to stop being blown up is by us defusing these bombs. You guys know how to defuse bombs, right? I fucking hope we do. So, we have to cut the correct wire to defuse the bomb. <laughs> this is a really fun mission. Um, I love this because it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prince Ali, Master is he, Ali Ababwa. <laughs> so here we go. Um, let me see if I can find the, the key. I have the key somewhere. Somewhere I have the key. Black wire. <laughs> Black wire. Oh! I'm now happy. What? Oh, for fuck's sake, that was wrong apparently. Oh, because that wasn't bomb one. Oh my god! Guys, you're supposed to be helping me, not making me turn into my usual spatchcock self. For fuck's sake. 
<laughs> so if you get it wrong, this happens. You get fucking squashed. This is the sort of fun stuff that you can expect on to land. So we have to know where we are, right? So um, let me pull out the main chat. Let me post where we are, and then you guys can tell me which wire, right? So we can do we can do this together. You guys are much super smart than me. So here are the five bombs, right? So um, I've just posted my pause. It's one three five nine six four blah 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 blah. Which wire is the right wire then? For God's sake. Pay attention, guys. So, um, five, four, two, four, one, three. Five, four, two, four, one, three. Red wire, right? Red. Has to be red. Sally Master is he. Papua. <laughs> Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Apparently, I can't interact with it. Why not? Bah. Okay, we, we try a different one. Apparently, that one doesn't want me to chat to it. Just like, bugger. Oh, because I'm probably untracking the mission again. Oh, I have to go back to the mission broker. Bugger. Oh, let's pin the ass, Larry. Let's do it. We can do this. We can do this, guys. We can do this. <laughs> guys, you have to help me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> You must be like, honestly, who let her do this? Jesus. <laughs> right. So that first one was red, do we think? You did the same thing. Oh, okay. Red. Red. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, we did it. We did it. We got the first one. Right. So, um, next bomb. Let's find the next bomb, guys. You have to find me. <laughs> so, guess what? Yes, Larry. <laughs> yes, Larry. This is why um, I said this is a complete hot mess. Like, the whole thing is, is fucking hilarious. <laughs> So the next bomb is hiding over here. So essentially we are on to land and we are diffusing the bombs in the Nahar city. This is a really fun mission. Um, if you guys haven't done this before, honestly you should. It's, it's a good laugh. Right, so we're on the next bomb. I'm going to show you my pause and we can work out which bomb we're on and which wire to cut. So I'm going to pull this out. So, um, my pause is down here. One, three, three, four, three, two, nine, blah, blah, bloody, bloody, blah. So which wire do I cut? Come on, guys, come on. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> come on, guys. Don't make me go back to the mission broker. Orange. Orange, orange, orange. Are you sure? Four three two oh, grass us. Four three two four one one four I don't know four three twos. Orange. Okay, Glenn Fiddish, I'm gonna go with your suggestion. If I die you're in trouble. I listen to you guys, honestly. The dog is banging around in the background. Jesus. I don't have to do them all again, do I? 
Oh, for God's sake. You guys should be paying more attention to them. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, kebab. Yeah, yeah, absolute kebab meat bonnie. <laughs> Welcome to my stream if you just tuned in. Welcome to my hot mess. Um, this is me trying to show how wonderful Tulan is whilst getting blown up at every opportunity, apparently. Um, I'm sorry, Sinan. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying, trying my very best. Sinan. Oh my god, you have to start from the start. <sighs> Come on, guys. Help me out. <laughs> Back to the pipe, back to the pipe. Uh -huh. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Right, I'm gonna pay some attention here. I love this gym. So here we are at POS. 542414. 542414, it's red wire. Red wire, grats us. It's red wire. Good. Next one. <laughs> I'm so scared. You guys are scaring the shit out of me. Can you please stop killing me? Honestly. <laughs> Terrified. So here's the key. I have the key in pink. I have my system messages down here. Come on, guys. You can do this. You're all so smart. Bomb two, right? So I'm going to post where I am. Pause. So here's my pause. So which one does this line up to? So 432411. 432411, it doesn't. Oh my god. That makes it worse. 274. Maybe this one? Red? Black? Do you think it's black? Are you sure? Black. Are you sure? Black is um, 283. 283. <laughs> oh. Black. Yes! It's black. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Selig is here. Selig is like, please, can somebody accompany this girl through this mission? <laughs> it's like, she does not deserve to be alone on to land. <laughs> I need minders. <coughs> minders for the bonnie. <laughs> I love this too. Remember guys, um, as much as I am trying not to get lost, I'm actually getting completely lost. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, J7. That's really kind. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to our next wee challenge. I'm clearly rubbish at these, so you guys have to keep me right. <laughs> Oh no, Zanny, I can't touch the stuff. Ugh. Tastes like medicine. Eek. It's alright if you've got a cough or something, but oh my god. To drink on a normal day, no chance. So the one thing I love about the Nahar City is it kind of looks real. It kind of looks like this would be something that you would experience. Anyway, back to the point. Right, so ready? Ready again, ready again. Here's my pulse. 134, 303. 9645825 which wire here's the pause here's the code you guys tell me doesn't mean I'm gonna believe you but <laughs> I'm gonna try and believe you black black rib cracker says black <sighs> oh none of them say 303 Two, oh it's kind of close the black wire the way shall we go black Shall we go black? Oh no, someone says orange. Ah. <laughs> Dracula says second one. <laughs> this is horrible. Orange, orange. Mm. 
So we have to cut the correct wire. <laughs> the second one lines up perfectly. Um, 303, 4, 5, 8. Yeah, I'm with Dracul on this one. Orange. 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 <gasps> ready, ready, ready. Yes! <laughs> we did it, we did it. Right, next one. Come on, guys. We've got this. We've got this. I love how Selig is like, I'm here for you, money. I'm here for you, money. <laughs> I'm like, cannot be unaccompanied at any point. <laughs> your grey eyes. Your grey eyes. So this wee guy is Louis Capaldi. Louis Capaldi um, lives literally down the road from me. Um, he's kind of became a big thing all of a sudden. He's just a wee guy from Bathgate. Yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm so not ready. But it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right, so here we go. Ready for my pause? Here we go. 284, 258, 286. 284, 258, black. Shout out, Jack. Cats It's black, huh? It's black. Oh, God. Black. <laughs> You guys all must come to Tulane just to do this mission. It's hilarious. It's, it's just hilarious. Right, Black, here we go. Yes! We did it, we did it. There's one more to go, one more to go, and we have completed the mission. Can you imagine us lot getting through a mission like this? <laughs> the next one is yellow. <laughs> could be, could be. Mm. Honestly, this is oh man, my makeup is all streaming down my face. <laughs> I'm laughing so much. So welcome to Tulan. Welcome to all the fun you can have on Tulan. You saw my wee hop earlier. I got a hop. I wasn't expecting the hop. It was it was really cool. And um, I spoke to you about Nabokor. And um, we did the Nabokor and See You Hop. I hope you guys all know what Nabokor and See You Hop is now, and you all know how to get your Nabokors and how to upgrade to your Mark Ones and Mark Twos. Of course you do. Of course you do. You're all paying too much attention. Um, you all understand everything about this building and the apartments and the shops and stuff because you're all so amazing. And now I'm going to take you over and show you um, past now our towers. This amazing place. Up here. So I'm going to put my chat down so it's not in your face. This is one of the most beautiful places um, probably in game. Up here. This thing. <laughs> it looks like I'm the only person there. I know there is someone here, and Selig is here. <laughs> Selig is here helping me out. <laughs> and my team is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for me. So, this is just gorgeous. The way they designed this whole thing is just beautiful. Um, so they have their big tower. I've got other, oh God, I've got other towers to show you. But let me show you inside this thing. So this is, um, so let me let me explain like super fast about um, Nabokor and the energy. Um, one second. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I had something I wanted to say about this. Oh, here we are. Um, so Nawa. So the thing that we've been working on, we've worked on Nabokors. So Nawa is Tulan's life energy, and it's the fuel for its mystical force. And there's Jeefs, and the Jeefs are the Nawa mutated Insanans, whose level of mutation varies. This is um, the Burj Al Hawa, the Wind Tower, one of Nawa's infused dark towers to be found throughout Tulan, where the ancient Megs are still stocked up by Sapiens. 
So all the stuff that I'm reading just now and you can find here, let me show you this. This is for anyone who's kind of like me and a bit geeky and maybe super interested in lore. And so this is the lore of Tulan. This is their kind of, this stuff that they speak about. Um, so they have different races. They have the Inseans. Um, which is the tribal race, they have the Narians, a cosmic creature, and the Safians, the celestial beings. And um, the main thing is that Nawa, what we're working on just now, um, Nawa is the, the core, the lifeblood of Tulan. Um, so yeah, if you've not done anything like this in Entropia, um, honestly, I highly recommend just coming in and having a bit of experience on a different level with Entropia, if that makes sense. The two land stuff, it's not difficult, it's not um, uber, you don't have to be something special to do it. You can just come and have a bit of fun. That bomb stuff is hilarious. I think you should all check it out. But then if you were to listen to me, you'd be all over the place by now, right? Anyway, let me show you the next bomb. Um, so these are the, this is the Nawa Energy Cores. This is where the cores exist. This is almost like the reactor, I guess. Good chance when it was stuck. <laughs> I love this silly because silly is here like, aha, uh -huh, Bonnie, you have no clue what you're doing. Like none. <laughs> so we have to defuse a bomb down here. So let me show you what this guy says. And um, this is Rabia. Rabia says a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna read it all to you, he says, but um Come on in, don't let the awesome power of the Nawa reactor scare you off. Besides, you wouldn't come to the Nawa city just to see the pretty architecture. The city's power and the reason why we work hard to keep it hidden is a scientific genius. So this is the um, the Nawa power that we have just now. And um, let me show you how we diffuse this bomb. Back, back, to, the, back to the topic, Bonnie, back to the topic. Although, it looks like on my map it wants me to defuse another one. I did have one here to defuse, but... Okay. The mission isn't updating on it. So let's jump back and i show you. And Glenn has bomb training. <laughs> Absolutely. Why is the pause putting me here for this? This wasn't where the bomb was. Oh. Do you think they've got the, the pause on the map slightly out? Because it is in that building, right? I think they have the pause on the map a wee bit out. I've been here before and it is inside that building. Yeah. I think they have the map. Glenfiddich, is the map a wee bit out? We haven't done, we haven't diffused the one inside the building, right? There is one in here. Okay, I come back down to you, Glenfiddich. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Can you stand beside it? Ugh. I'm getting stuck. Yeah, this one. Okay, are we ready? So that was interesting. This is the white wire. <laughs> Let's do it. White wire. Ah. Okay, so we done them. Um, so that was the bomb diffusion mission. Thank you, Glenn Fittich. And thank you for <laughs> helping me at the end. I needed that. Like this, I, need, I need my hand held <laughs> a bunch of these things. <laughs> um, okay, so let me take you back to the mission broker. Um, but before I do that, let me show you how 
gorgeous Tulan is. Let me kill this. Um, so with Tulan, you have um, so the the CU Hof stuff that we did, and we got we, he, essentially CU Hof lived to its name. They saw me Hof, and um, we put the wee Hof on the Hof board tonight. Um, this is some of the most gorgeous architecture you will find in in Trophia. Uh, they really put a bunch of work into everything that they do. And they run missions that are just hilarious, like um, what we did there with cutting the ball. <laughs> there was no point to that other than just to be having a good laugh. You wish you had a hand holder. <laughs> oh, this is a bit I always mess up. I always get the wrong side of this wall. So there are a bunch of kind of newbie missions and stuff on Tulan and um, I hope I've shown you guys enough of Tulan tonight that you think to yourself this might be a fun place for you to visit. There's loads of stuff to do here and um, even if it's just to get your Navacore there's no reason why you shouldn't have your Navacore and um, to upgrade your Navacore and become a Hof board member with your Navacore Mark II. I'm sure you guys can all do it. If you have any questions about Tulan, any questions about Entropia, if you're maybe new to Entropia and don't know what the hell is going on, please do, <laughs> my cat's meowing in the background, <laughs> please do uh, drop me a wee PM. I'm very chatty. Um, underneath my stream there's a whole bunch of links to um, either my Facebook, to the Big Entropia Discord, to any stuff like that. You can catch me on there. If you haven't followed me already, if you can give me a wee follow, it means so much to me. It just kind of shows to me that I'm doing a good job. Um, if you can subscribe, maybe you have Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime, or maybe you can afford a wee fiver <laughs> for the month, then honestly, it, it just kind of gives me reassurance that I'm doing okay for you guys. So it's, it's, it's appreciated more than I can possibly tell you. So let's have a look and see what this guy does. So I saved the day. He can't thank me enough for my heroism and here is my reward. Yay! Stuff. <laughs> so we have more missions to do. And that's the really fun thing is there's always more missions to do. So let me show you what I got just on systems. Um, so I gained um, combat reflex skills from finishing that one. So the good thing with a lot of these missions is they're not actually taking anything from you. You're just running around and clicking on random shit. And there's... <laughs> say that. Like, <laughs> sorry, I should, I should say that more professional. Um, this mission requires that you walk around and click on stuff. <laughs> is that better? No, it was rubbish. <laughs> no, honestly. And um, you just have to run around and click on shit and you get skills for doing it. And this is something that's important about exploring the universe because if you stay on Cali the whole time and uh, the universe is open to you. So guys, I'm going to call it for tonight. I hope you have loved my stream. I've certainly had so much fun. I've been so excited about showing this to you. Um, so the past two nights we've done dragon stuff. We were on Rocktopia um, doing a Dernia's, um, Den Denaria's stream. Last night we were on Next Island doing Khaleesi stream and tonight we've been on to Lan and I've been showing you everything there is to know about um, the Nawakor and I hope you've had as much fun as I've had. Um, I am Bonnie, I'm an Entropia streamer and I stream four nights per week, always something different, something interesting and I try and show you all the best bits of Entropia, not just grinding, not just the same old boring crap. So if you can follow me that'll be phenomenal. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, honestly, I can't tell you how much it means to me and to see you guys come back again, some of the familiar faces. I know you can't follow and you can't subscribe because you already follow and subscribe. So. But just seeing you back here again and being with me, that's phenomenal. So, um, <laughs> grats us. <laughs> seeing the same people coming back means to me that I'm doing something okay. So, um, just thank you for being here and thank you for tuning back in to me. So, good night. Oh, oh wait, wait, I've got my, 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 my Arabic stuff to say. Um, Salam alaikum and Kefa Haluka. <laughs>
So that's uh, hi, peace be with you. I don't know. Good night, guys. But anyway. <laughs> So good night, sweet dreams, whatever you're up to, I will see you again soon and thank you for being here.